Okay, so here's what you need to know for your test. Um, this will be an open-ended test, which means it will not be multiple choice. It will not be fill in the blank. It's going to be more short answer. Um, I would take, when we finish with the review, you'll have the rest of the class period to finish it up. I would complete it because um, your test is going to have about between 20 and 30 questions on it, this one. And then your diagram test on Friday. Um, some of you will not be here Friday due to softball, baseball, other things. We will make arrangements to you for you to get your test, maybe early. So we'll be back Friday afternoon. Please be prepared. I'm screwed. I can come take it Friday afternoon at eight period. Oh, you can't take a test in that class. Eight period is to me, no, to me, kiddos. Um, for those of you in the, and I'm recording for the block period also, so in my block period, you will have both tests on Wednesday. Okay, so I would start taking some notes, okay? Okay, so know the three components of the heart, of the cardiovascular system. It's one of the very first things we talked about during lecture. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Okay. All right, bye-bye. There is a, a student that has an insulin pump. That Ms. Murray said you might want to come down okay. and, and he can talk to you about his pump and I'll let you know what's going on. I think I have a rough day. Okay. Um, Candy, will you take her to Miss Murray's office? Uh, it'll be video. I'm videoing it. So. Okay, so you need to know the difference um, between pulmonary and circulatory. Uh, I'm sorry, pulmonary and systemic circulation, and the pathway for and each what? one. Pulmonary and systemic circulation and the pathway for each. For um, the heart itself, you need to know the size, the shape, the location and the difference between are the locations of the base and of the apex. Know the layers of the heart, like pericardium, myocardium, endocardium. And what their function is. The layers of the heart and their function. Know the difference in pericarditis, pericardial effusion. Pericardial effusion and cardiac tamponade. Did you actually finish that turning? Yeah, that's the one I texted you with. Is that the one you removed and then put back on or something? Um, yeah, because it was messed up. It was like it was an MLA format, but it showed like checkpoint pages and then it showed what you were using on the call. Okay, pericarditis, pericardial effusion, cardiac tamponade. Yes, you can. Coach Brown, I was absent for two days, and then he was absent for a week, so I have like three missing papers. Well, go get that and get it done and go home. You're going to make everybody else sick. You have a stomach bug. I think my immune system is shutting down. Mm -hmm. 
pericarditis. Also know what endocarditis, endocarditis is and what it does to the heart. T A M P O N A D E. Endocarditis. Know what the fibrous skeleton of the heart is and why it's important. Know the structures within the heart, like the atria, the ventricle, the valves, all that kind of good stuff. Know the pathway of blood from the inferior or superior vena cava through the heart, and then back to the inferior vena cava. There's about 11 or 12 steps. And then know the conduction pathway, the electrical conduction pathway as well in the heart. So a lot from the SA node to the AV node and the AV node and what's happening. So when the SA node fires, what is it doing? Um, know about circulation related to the coronary arteries or the, the coronary um, vessels. Enough for y'all want a little more? That, that should do it for your test. So just be sure that you can. This will be a, once again, this will be a short answer test. So I will give you the one. Oh, wait, no, I did forget something. Um, know the difference between atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. Compare and contrast atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. And supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia. I think that's it. Then remember that you also have that diagrams test. Unless your Monday went unless your Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and then you have both tests together in the next class period. If you have filled out your diagrams, you may look at the correct answers.